Ezra, chapter 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus saith Cyrus king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him an house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who is there among you of all his people? His God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel. He is the God which is in Jerusalem. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his place help him with silver and with gold and with goods and with beasts, beside the free will offering for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests and the Levites, with all them whose spirit God had raised, to go up to build the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, and with beasts, and with precious things, beside all that was willingly offered. Also Cyrus the king brought forth the vessels of the house of the Lord which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem and had put them in the house of his gods. Even those did Cyrus king of Persia bring forth by the hand of Mithridath the treasurer and numbered them unto Sheshbazzar the prince of Judah. And this is the number of them, thirty chargers of gold, a thousand chargers of silver, nine and twenty knives, thirty basins of gold, silver basins of a second sort four hundred and ten, and other vessels a thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were five thousand and four hundred. All these did Sheshbazzar bring up with them of the captivity that were brought up from Babylon unto Jerusalem. Chapter 2 Now these are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity of those which had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried away unto Babylon, and came again unto Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto his city, which came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Realiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvai, Rehum, Baana. The number of the men of the people of Israel. The children of Perosh, two thousand and hundred seventy and two. The children of Shephatiah, three hundred seventy and two. The children of Era, seven hundred seventy and five. The children of Pehath Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, two thousand eight hundred and twelve. The children of Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four. The children of Zatu, nine hundred forty and five. The children of Zakai, seven hundred and three score. The children of Bani, six hundred forty and two. The children of Bibai, six hundred twenty and three. The children of Asgad, a thousand two hundred twenty and two. The children of Adonikam, six hundred sixty and six. The children of Bigvai, two thousand fifty and six. The children of Adin, four hundred fifty and four. The children of Ater of Hezekiah, ninety and eight. The children of Bizei, three hundred twenty and three. The children of Jorah, an hundred and twelve. The children of Hashem, two hundred twenty and three. The children of Gibar, ninety and five. The children of Bethlehem, an hundred twenty and three. The men of Netopha, fifty and six. The men of Anathoth, an hundred twenty and eight. The children of Asmaveth, forty and two. The children of Kirjath Aram, Kephira and Beeroth, seven hundred and forty and three. The children of Ramah and Geba, six hundred twenty and one. The men of Michmas, an hundred twenty and two. The men of Bethel and Ai, two hundred twenty and three. The children of Nebo, fifty and two. The children of Magbish, an hundred fifty and six. The children of the other Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four. The children of Harim, three hundred and twenty. The children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, seven hundred twenty and five. The children of Jericho, three hundred forty and five. The children of Sena'a, three thousand and six hundred and thirty. The priests. The children of Jediah, of the house of Jeshua, nine hundred seventy and three. The children of Immer, a thousand fifty and two. The children of Pasher, a thousand two hundred forty and seven. The children of Harim, a thousand and seventeen. The Levites, the children of Jeshua and Cadmiel of the children of Hodaviah, seventy and four. The singers, the children of Asaph, 
and hundred twenty and eight. The children of the porters, the children of Shalom, the children of Ata, the children of Talmon, the children of Akab, the children of Hatita, the children of Shobai, in all an hundred thirty and nine. The Nethinims, the children of Zaiha, the children of Hasufa, the children of Tabaoth, the children of Kiros, the children of Siaha, the children of Padon, the children of Labana, the children of Hagaba, the children of Akab, the children of Hagab, the children of Shalmai, the children of Hanan, the children of Gidel, the children of Gehar, the children of Riya, the children of Reason, the children of Nicoda, the children of Gazim, the children of Uzza, the children of Pasia, the children of Besai, the children of Asna, the children of Mehunim, the children of Nephusim, the children of Bakbuk, the children of Hakufa, the children of Harha, the children of Basloth, the children of Mehida, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Sisera, the children of Thema, the children of Neziah, the children of Hatipha. The children of Solomon's servants, the children of Sotei, the children of Sophereth, the children of Peruda, the children of Jaela, the children of Darkon, the children of Giddel, the children of Shephatiah, the children of Hatil, the children of Pokereth of Zebaim, the children of Amai. All the Nethinims and the children of Solomon's servants were three hundred ninety and two. And these were they which went up from Telmila, Telharsa. Kirab, Adan, and Imma, but they could not show their father's house and their seed whether they were of Israel. The children of Deliah, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nicoda, six hundred fifty and two. And of the children of the priests, the children of Habiah, the children of Kaz, the children of Barzillai, which took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite, and was called after their name. These sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy, but they were not found. Therefore were they, as polluted, put from the priesthood. And the Tirshatha said unto them that they should not eat of the most holy things till there stood up a priest with Urim and with Thummim. The whole congregation together was forty and two thousand three hundred and three score. Beside their servants and their maids, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred thirty and seven, and there were among them two hundred singing men and singing women. Their horses were seven hundred thirty and six, their mules two hundred forty and five, their camels four hundred thirty and five, their asses six thousand seven hundred and twenty. And some of the chief of the fathers, when they came to the house of the Lord which is at Jerusalem. Offered freely for the house of God to set it up in His place, they gave after their ability unto the treasure of the work three score and one thousand drams of gold and five thousand pound of silver and one hundred priests' garments. So the priests and the Levites and some of the people and the singers and the porters and the Nethinims dwelt in their cities and all Israel in their cities. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in His presence. 
But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, He that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Chapter 2 And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord, and he shall save thee. Divers' weights are an abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good.